What's up you guys? Welcome back to Super Just TV. Today's video is a part two to my how K-12 works video. So I did ask you guys to send me some more questions if you guys still had some concerns. Um, so that is what we're filming here today. But yeah, so I know a lot of us are feeling overwhelmed right now. Maybe homeschool wasn't a choice. I am here to try to help you and just make this a little bit easier. I've been there before and I know what it felt like to kind of not know where to even start so that is why i started making these videos for you guys to kind of help you at, at least figure some things out so with that being said if this is the first time you're here welcome my name is jessica i make homeschool and lifestyle content here on youtube so i would love for you guys to subscribe make sure you guys turn on your notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new videos so yeah let's get started with today's video you guys i have so many questions and a lot of you guys are now following me on instagram so thank you guys so much i try my best to reply quickly and reply to every single comment but yeah so i wrote down some questions and these are the questions that i don't think i've ever answered in any of the videos um so all right let me grab my coffee actually okay so i've gotten this question quite often and that is how much screen time per day for your child so in total that's about two to three hours per day and i know that seems like a lot but let me tell you guys they're not back to back so let's say we do maybe 30 minutes for one lesson during the day and then you know another 30 minutes you know for a different lesson there are some lessons that i felt like had a lot more screen time than others for instance phonics was one of them usually for phonics her screen time would be about 30 to 45 minutes um but like i said they're not back to back so we'll do some lessons in the morning and break it up and do some lessons in the afternoon and sometimes we've even done lessons at night so they're not really back to back i've had someone ask me how i personally feel about that and i honestly don't think it's that bad we're at this age where a lot of kids are now playing on screen so i would much rather her do some screen time and get some learning in than just be playing video games if i'm being honest but but she does have these blue light glasses that help her protect her eyes um, I've shared them a lot in my routine videos um, I will have a link for that down below I don't have them on me right now and she does need a new pair so um, that's just a little tip for you guys if you feel like maybe that's too much get them some blue screen light protection glasses um, but yeah I don't know what do you guys think is that a lot two to three hours per day and that you know you guys can break those up so another question that comes up a lot is class connect sessions so class connect sessions if you guys didn't see that first video I did explain it a little bit more there but basically this is when your child gets to interact with the class and the teacher so usually you can get your lessons done whenever you can get them done in the morning you can get them done in the afternoon but for class connect sessions you do have a set time so our class connect sessions were at 9 and 11 a.m sometimes the teacher only scheduled one or the other this is a way for the teacher to take attendance so they do they are required and basically this is the only set time so you can do your lessons whenever but the class connect sessions are at a set time so something else that people seem to be concerned about for the class connect sessions is if you have to have your camera on um, our teacher didn't require it most of the time you can only see the teacher and the students are basically on audio so I don't really know if that's different for every single teacher but our, that's how our teacher did it for kindergarten how do you turn in your books so I do have a video all about that I'll let, go ahead and link it up here but basically at the end of the year you will receive an email and in that email it'll have it'll have a list of books that you have to return you do get to keep some of the material so um, a lot of the hardcover books I actually have my stuff set up for it next year already like these hardcover books you will have to return um so that email will have a list of everything you have to return and what's awesome is that they also do send you the label so you don't pay for anything so you don't have to pay for shipping or anything so yeah it is very easy and very convenient um people will still want to know if i've paid for k-12 if i've paid for anything so k-12 is absolutely free if you do their public program so i'm in california and my online public school is california virtual academies and they are partnered with k-12 which is the provider of all the books the material and the curriculum because i am doing their public program i have not paid for anything all the material was sent over for free they've actually also loaned me a computer and a printer that's the printer actually 
So this was loaned. The computer and the printer will have to be sent back. They will have to be returned when we are no longer with K-12 or if we graduate or, you know. Okay, so another question that I got and I feel like it's a good one that I've never answered before is like report cards. How does that work? Um, this person wanted to know if you get college credits or diplomas. To be quite honest, I don't know about the college credit part because we're not there yet, but for report cards, everything was emailed over to me um, as well as Lily's kindergarten diploma. So you do get all of your stuff. Um, this is a credited school and basically it works kind of like a regular school. You get your diplomas, you get your report cards. So I've also been getting a lot of questions about which programs you're gonna be needing um, once school starts. I did wanna show you guys this page. So I did get my supplies in already. Um, if you guys haven't checked out that unboxing video, it'll be up here in the iCards. But basically, when you get your materials in the mail, there will be a box that says open first and in that box there will be a there will be an envelope so they'll have this sheet in there and this is basically telling you exactly what you need to do for the first day of school or before the first day of school actually to get you started before the school starts so so i'm going to go over this really quickly but basically you have to download the k-12 app you have to um, create your parent portal and you also have to do your um, online learning course. So that online learning course is basically gonna go over what the parent portal looks like, where to access different things. Um, and yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys get that all done before the school year starts so that you can be ahead of the game. Don't do what I did last year. I was basically waiting to do that like last minute and it was just so overwhelming. But yeah, you guys, I think that is it for this video. I did kind of want to let you guys know I have other videos that I think you'll find helpful just in case you guys haven't checked them out. I have a K-12 tips for beginners video, a K-12 pros and cons video, and a K-12 how to enroll videos. So yeah, be sure to check those out if you guys haven't already. I guess that's it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. I'm here real quick and show you guys how to get to my playlist. Um, I do have everything pretty much organized so you guys can see the videos that you like um, easily without having to go through everything. But here is my homeschool playlist. And if you go to view full playlist, you'll be able to kind of pick and choose through all of these homeschool videos. Um, I did go ahead and put the three that I mentioned at the end of this video up here, just in case you guys wanted to see those in particular. Um, but as you can see, I have quite a few videos um, for homeschool and um, you can find basically all my routines in here, anything relating to homeschool. I also have just like back to school hauls and all my K-12 videos as well. So make sure you guys check these out if you guys wanna um, see what a day in the life of a homeschool mom looks like um, or just, you know, if you're looking for certain tips or things about K-12 that you guys have been wondering. So check this out and I guess that's it. I wanted to say thank you all again for all your support. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.